The Yanni versus Zayn rematch is officially happening. I cannot believe it. So we're going to take a look back at how we even got here and where it's going to look like going into the future. So let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. <laughs> What's up wrestling fans, my name is Shazai, and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome, because we have a lot to talk about today. We're talking about the Zayn vs. Yanni rematch. Let's get right into things. So, how did this happen? How did we get here? Well, first of all, in this 2019 uh, USA Team USA process, Zayn vs. Yanni were both looking to make a spot at 65 kilograms. These two first faced off at the US Open back a few months ago, and they faced off in the finals when Yanni won the match and went to Final X Rucker. Well, what happened in that meantime is Zayn ended up having to qualify for Final X Rutgers, and he went through the World Team Trials, ended up beating Jordan Oliver in the finals to get his rematch with Yanni. And actually, this is where the controversy comes from, is Final X Rutgers, which happened back on June 8th. 8th. These two wrestled in a best of three series to make the Team USA lineup and go on to wrestle in the World Team Championships. Well, what happened here? Zayn won the first match, and this was not controversial at all. Zayn won that match fair and square, just like Yanni won that first match at the U.S. Open. So, Zayn is up in the series 1-0. to zero. They head in the second match. These guys wrestle, and they're wrestling just how they usually wrestle. It's 6-4. Uh, to four. Yanni is up in the second period. There's about a minute and a half left. Well, they get into this crazy situation where Zane's in on a double leg. Yanni is kind of in on a body lock. Zane's trying to expose Yanni. Yanni's trying to roll Zane through. They get into this crazy roll, and this is this is the controversial moment in where the refs were, what they saw, what the coaches saw. This is the, what happened. So what happened is the Matt ref gave two points to Blue, gave two points to Yanni. The other official gave two points to Zane. Both of these, they were going into, you know, who had two points. Well, what happened is the chair official, who was supposed to agree with one of the officials on the mat, ended up giving two and two. Everything was going crazy here. Now, there, there was no break in the action. Absolutely no break in the action from that last minute of wrestling until... Probably they got into another little uh, flurry and there were w with about 15 seconds left and then the match ended. Then Kale threw the challenge brick, which going back 45 seconds uh, into the match, seeing what was happening, whether, whether Zayn had to, whether Yanni actually had to, it was 45 seconds later, which is shown that coaches have to throw that challenge brick within a certain time period, within a reasonable time period. And that's really where we'll get into the arbitration, where this comes from. Well, it ended up going back. Uh, the refs ended up giving Zane two and Yanni nothing on that interaction, which was crazy on that sequence. And Zane ended up, ended up winning that match, ended up winning the series two to zero. Well, Cornell's coaches and Yanni said, we're actually going to... Uh, we." disagree with that call we disagree with the match so we're going to send this to an arbitration send it to court and say should this match be rematched should this happen again what what's up with this process like that shouldn't have happened so we've been waiting a couple months for this decision well in the meantime while we've been waiting for that decision these two faced off yet one more time at the yasar dogu uh, and what happens is these two faced off in the first round. Yanni ended up beating Zayn in that first round, going on to win the Dogu, win that championship overseas, and Zayn ended up being hurt that match. So he, this past couple of weeks, he sat out. He sat out at Pan Am's, ended up having somebody fill in for him. And that leads us to today. That leads us to this arbitration and what the heck happened. Well, on August 15th, USA Wrestling put out a tweet and they said, The arbitrator in the Yanni vs. Zayn case nullified the second bout in the 65 kilogram final X due to untimely challenge at conclusion of the bout. USA Wrestling is scheduled the completion of 65 kilograms. Details coming soon. Rutherford enters the remainder of the series with a 1 to 0 lead. So, what happened here? Who made this decision and is this legal? Like, what's the deal with that? So, who was the arbitrator? Well, the arbitrator was somebody by the name of Professor Matthew Mitten. And you, if you're a wrestling fan, you probably don't know that fan. If you're just a 
regular guy on the street, you probably don't know that name. And that's because this was a third party uh, deemed worthy by the American Arbitration Association. And they he actually ended up making this decision based upon all these parties complaints, all the rulings, all their evidence, he ended up making that decision. And this is just because he's a third party who doesn't really have anything to do with Cornell, doesn't have anything to do with Penn State, doesn't really have anything to do with USA Wrestling necessarily. I don't even, personally, I don't even know if he's a wrestling fan, which that can be argued from both sides. From here, we know that these two will get a rematch. Match one is already won by Zayn. And I think really what's been going on over the last couple of months is people have been asking, where's match three? Where's match three? Where's match three? Well, what happens now is match two is just completely X'd out, final X'd out, and we're just back to Zayn being up one to zero in the series. So if we go into this next match, Zayn wins that next match, then the series is over. He's up 2-0. He's on Team USA. If he loses that next match, Yanni wins that next match, then he's up one to one to go to the third match. We don't know when this match is going to take place, where this match is going to take place as of right now, but we do know that the World Championships are September 14th through the 27th uh, in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. So 14th through the 22nd, that leaves us with less than a month for these two to wrestle. Why these two aren't wrestling the same date as Kyle Dager versus Alex Deringer, I don't know. I just because this decision took so long to make, it would have been great for these two to have the same match in the same weekend. That would have been like a third final X. Now we think Team USA is going to decide with Deringer versus Dake, but guess what? Now it's not because we still have to wait for uh, Yanni versus Zayn. Who do you think is going to win? I know that the wrestling world is going absolutely insane right now. I, I've seen. People from both sides throwing out tweets, upset and enraged about what's going on. Of course, you know, Bo Nickel, Vincenzo Joseph, teammates of Zane Rutherford, just think this is absolutely absurd. They've put out their tweets, putting their opinion out there, saying that this shouldn't have happened. Zane made the world team. That was the decision. And that's that. That should have been done. We shouldn't put this precedent out to complain about matches going forward, where if we disagree with Call, we should just go with it. People from Cornell are saying, yeah, this is justice for Yanni. Yanni should definitely get this match. He should absolutely be able to wrestle Zane and show that he deserves this world spot. As far as my opinion and what I think, I think the call was a little bit absurd. And I actually didn't realize that necessarily it was just going based upon this time of the call. I thought that this was just going to be, you know, the refs looked back at this. It wasn't necessarily Kale's call. They were waiting for a break in the action. Now, I stu still do believe, even though it's not in the freestyle rules, it's in the NCAA rules, that these two should have went back if, if you know, the refs did X out. They said that, you know, nothing happened. Or we, we should have just gone back to the time of the call, about 45 seconds left in the match, and they should have wrestled it out from there. So at least then Yanni knew what was going on. He could have then wrestled how he thought he was going to wrestle and not thinking the score was 8-6 to six or, you know, however the score was uh, given. He should have been able to wrestle that match knowing that score. That's just my personal opinion. And look, I'm wearing a Penn State fan. I'm a huge Zane Rutherford fan. He's actually one of my favorite wrestlers to watch wrestle. And I can't wait to see how this how this pans out because I'm also a big Yanni fan. I will personally be interested in seeing how each of these guys either of them would do on Team USA. I will support either of them fully. I think this is just crazy wrestling news right now, and I'd really like to know what you guys have to think in the comments below. And like I said, if this is your first time here, this is your first thing you're hearing about, make sure you hit subscribe, because this is all we do on this channel, is talk all about wrestling news, tips, and lifestyle. Now make sure you check out these upcoming videos for all about college wrestling.